Hi, welcome back to my channel. Karina here and today we're going to learn how to make these um, semi shabby chic tags. And for that we will need the following. Basil paper and this is from um, Kaiser Crafts. I'm going to link in the description down below all the materials that I have used to make the uh, mini shabby chic tags. And this paper also is from um, Heidi Swap's um, previous collections. This other one is called Felicity from Pink Fresh um, Studio. It's like a vellum paper. And we will need, of course, fabric tag. Also the Nouveau Crystal Drops in, uh, what color is this? It doesn't say the color, but it's like a pink and kind of like a nude light pink. And of course the famous Stickles. And it's golden rod. That's the color of it. We will need also this ink. It's a Brilliance fast drying pigment ink. Pearson chocolate. We will also need some sequins, kind of like light pink. And we will need also um, double sided tape some um, circle foam tape and of course it's time I am going to use for the first time believe it or not crystal cubaton I got this in a trade show probably three years ago I never use it it's supposed to pick up uh, like sequins uh, die cuts mosaics and so I'm going we're going to try it the first time and see how that goes if it's easy instead of using tweezers you know I can use this so, for today's tutorial, I already have pre-cut the tags. And for these tags, I have used um, the following dies. The set is from Gina K. And is this one. And let's see what size is this. It's supposed to be the uh, two and a half inches by one in a, in and a half something. So it's two and a half by one and a half. So it's it's like a really mini uh, die for the heart. I don't have a die. I only have this punch but um, it's not effective so what I did was I trace my own um, heart for these mini banners or tails um, I'm just using regular um, golden glitter glitter um, paper and this one is also from Kaiser Crafts collection. So let's start. So we are going to do the first one with the heart. So I will pick the light pink and the banners. The banners will measure like one and a half. So what I do is this. I just Pick the banner and cut it. So it's kind of long but not too long. So I will just cut it over here. Okay. And then I'm going to use double side tape to stick them. Is 
just gonna take this off here. Okay, here we go. Double side tape. I can cut the back a little bit so we don't have that shine, shiny golden thing coming up. So what I do, I also ink the edge of this heart. So I'm using the um, Brilliance um, chocolate ink and just lightly ink, slide, slightly ink the size. So to make the banners, I will just do a little click here in the middle, cut and cut. Here's my banner. Here, cut and cut. Good. So here's the banner. So now I am going to stick this with the circle foam dots. That's strong. Right here like that. Now, here comes the fun part. We're going to be using this crystal cabaton limited edition. Let me see. And um, I am going to um, place three. You see on this one? Little three sequence like the eyes and the nose <laughs> and use but for that we are going to be using the tool okay so I am supposed to be gluing that as well so let's see if this is going to work let's test it for the first time oh it worked now I just put a little bit of glue oh my god I can't believe it and put it in here wow this is like magic wow now the other one put a little bit of glue oops of course with hot glue it will be messy next one I love this tool. Why I didn't use this tool? I've been um, hoarding this tool like for three years. Um, and this is just the first time I'm, I, I'm giving it a try. So you see how it sticks? It's like a magnetic thing. Oh, perfect. Now I am going to... I am so excited about this tool. It defi definitely works. So it's supposed to... Um, it's like a multimedia pickup tool um, for sequins, die cuts, mosaics, rhinestones, mixed media, and more. So simply touch the synthetic wax tip to the small item and then pick it up with quickness and ease. Touch the item. Wow, this is just, this is really good. Okay, so I definitely am going to put the description down below if I find some information about this tool. This is great. I know some of, of you who um, do multimedia might already know this tool. Not me, but hey, you live and learn, right? So here is the first tag. Now we're going to do the second tag. So for that, we will need the um, Heidi Swap already um, cut tag. I already have cut it, so this video is not too long. And this is very simple to do and easy. This is the, the easy and the short tag. But I attach the vellum sca circle scallop um, part, cut apart with the uh, foam. So I will put one, two, like big ones. They, when these uh, drops, they dry, they look like animal dots. So it's very, um, it's very good to use because then you don't, you can just make any sh shape of your drops. And then 
I am going to use the stickles. Just add some of the glue on the edges, just, just a little bit, not too much. You gotta be very precise on these. And then these will dry like in 20 minutes or I'll give them an hour. But once um, the Nuvo drops are dry and the sequins are dry, then we can just use any trim and just add on insert a trim in your tag and so this is the final project these are the tags and if you like this video um, please give the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and see you next time bye